Hey, this is Lori, also known as Inspired Act, and I wanted to make a video about TMJ, which um, I was inspired to do it by watching Thrive Survive, Alexis, um, and she was talking that she had some TMJ issues. And I started thinking about it, you know, I know I've talked a lot about raw food and different things like that, but I wanted to share some of the other things that I can help people with just because it's so, some of my training. So I wanted to show what you could possibly do to help you with your TMJ conditions. If anybody doesn't know what that is, it is, I can tell you, it's temporomandibular joint syndrome. It is where people either lock their jaw or clench their jaw and they'll experience headaches, different problems, tightness, um, law jock. Did I just say law jock? <laughs> You know what? You can always count on me to screw things up. Locked jaw um, and things like that. So anyways, the first thing that you want to look for if you think that you might have a um, TMJ is you take your three knuckles on your, on your finger, on your hand, and your teeth, you should be able to slide this between your teeth. Now I know that I have a tight jaw, so I am one of these candidates where this will be really perfect for. So you take three, your three knuckles, you open your mouth widely, and you try to slide those three fingers between your teeth. If you cannot do that, that means there's room for improvement and this, there's some techniques that you can do. So I'm going to try to demonstrate it now. I'm going to totally embarrass myself, but what do you expect? It's Lori. She'll do anything. So here you go. Yeah, I can't even do it. Ah, okay, I got it in, but like literally I'm like scraping the skin off of my knuckles. Okay, so I have a really tight jaw. There are some four stretch, there are four exercises that you can do to improve that. And you're going to be resisting your jaw into your hand. And the first one that you can do is where you take your hand, you place it against your cheek, and this hand is going to press into the cheek, into the jaw, while the jaw presses into the hand. And you're going to hold that for about 10 seconds, release, hold it again and release, hold it again and release, and then you're going to switch to the other side. So I'm going to press, and I'm resisting my jaw into my hand. It's so attractive, isn't it? <laughs> and then switch to the other side. I'm not doing it the whole time. I don't have a stopwatch, but count to ten. And you're not pressing like with 100% strength. You're not like jamming your hand and your, and your jaw into each other. You're just creating a good amount of resistance. And then you're going to release. Now, so you did one side, then the other side. Now we're going to take our fingers on our teeth, the bottom teeth. And again, you're going to press down with your fingers and lift up with your jaw. Holding for 10 seconds and releasing holding for 10 seconds and releasing. Then after you do that, you're going to take your hand on your chin, your chin in your hand and you're going to press your hand up as you press your chin down. And again, holding that for 10 seconds. I'm not doing it for 10 seconds, don't count me, but that's the essence of it. Okay, so you had left, right, up and down, okay? And then after you do that and you really stretch out the jaw, you should then do the test again with your fingers. And even just that, I was able to slide my knuckles in through my mouth a lot easier. Now some extra, some, some massages that you can do to really help the TMJ area is if you can feel where your cheekbones are, and then you can feel this muscle, it, it, it's right underneath the cheekbones and it, it runs right down to the jawbone. And it's this, these thick muscles, they're called the masseters. And if you just take your fingertips, you could press it in and draw s circles, teeny tiny circles. And if you feel all the way up and down, you'll feel these lumps in your jaw and it's so sore. When you find a sore spot, press and rub on it. Now you got to be careful because depending on how severe your TMJ is, you can actually give yourself like 
like a motion sickness. You can actually feel car sick off of it. It's the craziest thing, but I experienced it myself, and so did other students when I was going to school for this. So anyway, be careful with it. Don't spend more than five minutes on this area because it'll just be too much. But those are some of the things that you can do to relieve some of the pressure. Um, if you tend to clench your jaw, have um, you, your jaw tends to lock, you have popping in your jaw, things like that. Because TMJ will cause headaches, all sorts of issues. It can wear down your teeth. You just don't even want to mess around with that. So, Alexis, I made this for you because I was thinking of you, but I know that there's other people out there that may be going through it. They're not able to open up their mouth all the way or different things like that. So this just might be something that's helpful. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully it helps somebody, and have a good day. Bye.